Today is the turkey day. I'm going to teach you guys how I cook my turkeys in an oven of about 400. I'll tell you the specifics when I get the recipe out. For an hour and about 10 minutes for a 12 pound turkey. If you have a bigger turkey, I'll tell you about that too. And then you shut off the oven and leave it in the oven for seven hours. So this video is cooking a turkey. Cooking a turkey. How to cook a turkey. And we might even teach uh, you how to make turkey soup. And it's not even Thanksgiving. No, because I had it and I I want to cook it. We want to, we don't I have don't, to, have, doesn't have to be Thanksgiving to have turkey, does it? That's right. I, I'll be sick of, of turkey for a little while after I eat a 12 pound turkey with Kevin. <laughs> So, uh, folks, stay tuned. In this video, we're going to teach you how to cook a turkey in one hour and... Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Like that. All right. I'm um, for real. They've got. They've made a new turkey that's born. It comes out of the egg with no neck. What? There's no... Non, look it up on Google. There's no neck turkeys. Huh. You never heard of that before? No. That's why you're getting no neck turkeys in the store. They're born without necks. They walk around like this all the time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Folks, she said she got that turkey at the store that didn't have a neck in it. And I, tried, I just played into it. I was like, you didn't hear they had genetically modified turkeys nowadays and they're born with no necks. They walk around like this the whole time. <laughs> this is going to be a cool little video, folks. We're going to cook you a turkey. Gobble, now. gobble. I found the neck. You found the neck? Yeah. Where was it? Inside the cavity. They still. stuck his neck up his butt. <laughs> they put his neck up his butt. You try, What are you trying to do? Shove an onion inside of it? You gotta have an onion. It won't fit in there though. Well, you want to tell people what you're doing? I'm getting the turkey ready. Okay. How do you do that? Well, I've already thawed it and made sure there's no ice in there. Okay. I'm putting it in my pan now. Now, you want to tell them what kind of pan you got here? It's a roasting pan that belongs to my ex-husband's mother, Kevin's grandmother. My grandmother. Well, show them. Do you need to show them like there's And I have a rack in here so it makes it easier to lift it out okay. later. Yeah. I now. I don't in, think they in, can see that. See the rack? That also keeps it off the bottom of the pan. Now, I need to put two small onions and... and Why don't you just cut one onion in half? I, I didn't. If it won't fit, cut well, it in half and shove it in there. I could, I guess I could do that. Yeah, wouldn't hurt. You want to tell people how to cut an onion? That's a good idea. If you, if you don't cut that out of there, just cut off cut across that the bad part, but do do it very lightly and it'll hold it together. Then it holds the onion together. Right. It still holds it together. You gotta cut across cut right through that for it to still hold together. If you cut if you don't do that, then the onion's gonna fall into pieces. Some people might want it into a bunch of pieces, but sometimes you don't want sometimes an onion you, right. in a bunch of pieces. Okay, so you're shoving uh onion inside of the turkey and uh, I hear something going on over here that's my quart of water a quart of water you're gonna that you boil bo first. boil first okay and you pour it over and if you don't have that kind of a pan you can use an open hang on let's show them there. how you doing this you're cutting the tip off the bad part this with with the with the stuff roots. with the roots on it and the top okay and then I'm gonna peel the skin off of it you put a little light on the subject if you don't have that kind of pan you can use an open pan however you have to use heavy-duty tin foil to cover it and seal it up because no moisture, no steam, nothing can come out of that pan once you put it in the oven 
You can't even open the door to look in there. The oven door? Because it will mess up everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to peel your onion pretty good, huh? Yeah. Get the... Don't cut your finger. It's bothering my eyes. Okay. Uh. Of course. Why not, right? So folks, at this point right now as we're making this video, we've kind of relaxed a little bit from uh, the stress and um, what would you call it, the um, anxiety of Hurricane Irma because it looks like it's turning and going away from us. So that's a good thing for us. Okay. Now you shoved another... Uh, another onion. So I got two You got small two onions inside the turkey. And... I'm going to have to put an apple. You don't peel the apple or cut it. You just... Wash it. <laughs> take the sticker off. Take the sticker off. All right. Can. Yeah, yeah. Grab the sticker off of there. Rinse her off one time. Then you shove that in there. Shove the apple in. Shove the apple in. Do you think it's going to fit? No. Doesn't look like it. I don't think it's going to fit either. But you're going to get the juice from, from the apple? when it cooks. Okay. In, in, in the, with the broth. Now oh. i got to have some celery. <laughs> okay. i got to wash my hands first, though. I don't want to yep. touch the celery. Yep. Wash your hands after you touch that after turkey, I folks. After touch that turkey. I'm putting the liver and the heart in here. And okay. The giblets. And the giblets or whatever. That's down in there. All right. And now you wash your hands. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. All right. I, I wouldn't. Touch. Don't wash your hands into a plastic bag. Before I touch the celery. There you go. Well, All right. We won't show you how to wash your hands, folks. You know how to do that. I'm gonna have to wash the wash sink. sink right now. I just wanted to know that they need to be conscientious about. Of course, people know that they need to be careful about salmonella and when they use poultries to not cross-contaminate. If they don't, they'll learn. That's how people learn, the hard way usually. So you're just gonna chop up some celery? No, just a, oh, just just a couple? Uh, three stalks. Three? Three, uh, three tips. Three things. Looks like you just got the tips of them. Yeah, that's all. All right, what are you gonna do with that? Shove that in there? Somehow. <laughs> oh boy. You, you needed a smaller apple. Yeah, probably. You should have put those in there before you put your apple in. I got one. Oh, is that what my surgery is going to be like? I hope not. <laughs> Doctor's going to be putting me back together. He's going to be saying, okay, give me the celery. He's going to be shoving stuff in me like that. As long as I don't have an apple hanging out my butt. When I come out of anesthesia, I'll be okay. Celery won't hurt so bad, but an apple? Whew, that wouldn't feel too good. I don't know if I should take the stem off. I guess I'll leave it there. Yeah, leave it on there. Okay. All right. The oven? The oven? Is on at... Pre, it's already preheated at 4... 450. 450. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm reading the label. I mean, I'm reading the, reading the well, recipe. I don't know. I've always used that oven. Okay. Ch it put it on 450, folks. Check your thermostat inside your oven or your thermometer to make sure it's 450 because I think our oven's off. It's probably only 400. So I'm going to check that real quick and we'll be right back. I put some salt and pepper on there, a little bit of garlic powder, and some poultry seasoning. Okay? That's what I see on there. Okay. That's all the seasoning. Looks, looks now, like you dropped I'm, it in the dirt. Yeah. Be, <laughs> be careful because got be your, real careful when you do this. Got your boiling water. It's going to shrink. It takes all your seasoning. Be careful you don't spill it. Yeah. Get. So that boiling water is supposed to shrink your skin around it. 
It, do, it does. Put your lid on immediately. And stick it in the oven? Make sure that it's not open up here. No vent. No vent. Okay. And then you stick it in the oven. You may have to do this. Okay? I'll stick it in the oven? Yeah, because it's okay. heavy, too heavy well, for you me. You record me. Sticking it in the oven. Back on that. Nobody can see me. Can you see me? Yes. Right. I can't see the oven though. Well, Go ahead. Okay. Stick it in the oven. About the center? Yeah. That's good. Okay. All right. Cool. And close the oven. Close the oven. Set the timer for an hour long? and ten minutes only. How many seconds is that? Seventy. Seventy seconds. You're, you're showing, if your turkey, you're showing them that. What are you showing them? Uh, the oven. You oh. putting it in the oven. If your turkey weighs over twenty pounds, you have to leave it in the oven for one hour and fifteen minutes only. If you leave it in longer, it's gonna fall off the bone. Okay. So after seventy minutes, what happens? You just turn the you oven off. You just turn the oven off. You do not ever open the door again until six hours from now. It's going to be in oh. the oven okay. in that heat until four o'clock. Okay. So after you turn the after you t after seventy minutes, turn the heat off. Leave the turkey in the oven for six more hours. Right. Do not ever open the door until the six hours is up. And then I thought you said you were going to show us how to cook a turkey in an hour and a half. I am. You're only cooking That's it. That's six hours. You're only cooking it for an hour and a, in ten minutes. It's cooking for six hours. You only have to use the, the oven's oven only, for oven's an hour and ten minutes. Okay, we got or what you're saying. An hour and fifteen minutes if your well, turkey weighs over twenty. You tricked me. I thought we, our turkey was going to be done in an hour and ten minutes, or whatever. Why does it say seventy-seven? I must have put seventy-eight. So, you want seventy? I'm going to use this timer here. Okay. Anyhow, folks, that's how you cook a turkey in six hours. No, seventy minutes and six hours. So what's the total time of the cook? Six hours and 70 minutes. <laughs> and then... Which is seven hours and 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out, or you're going to take it out. Right. And we're going to open it up and try to get the turkey out on a plate for a few minutes so I can... We'll show them that when we get ready to do keep that. Keep the juice and then we're going to put the turkey in here and put the oven back on so it can brown because this does not brown a turkey. All in a picture. Hi everybody. Is it... Did the red button come on? Yep. Okay. It's time to open the oven, take the turkey out, Transfer it to that pan and put it, it on the pan. Yeah, and put it back in the oven so we can roast uh, and brown it and heat it up again. So it's a little bit brown, but not a lot. Yeah. See all the broth in there. Look at that. Wow! All that came, that's all gonna, that juice came out of the turkey. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh So we're going to brown it for maybe an hour. We'll see. I'm going to pick it up and put it in there. The, uh with well, these? Yeah. That's hot. Well, then take something else. Take us uh take a, a couple of those okay, things. Okay, watch where you're watch where you're filming. You don't want to film. Can you back up? Back up and get all this in the picture. Watch well, that. I that isn't that's precarious. That's why I was holding Mom, that. Watch the camera. I will take care of this. Back up and get me and everything in the picture. I don't want you to drip you're, everything. You're showing all, all that stuff over there. Okay?
I'll take care of this. I'll do it. You just film. Okay. Seeing as you're not strong enough to pick this up. Is this better? Okay. Now I can transfer that. quickly over to there. Very good. All right. Okay. Now let me have the camera back. She don't know how to work the camera that good, folks. But that's okay. She can cook like you can't believe. I'm the cameraman. Hmm. Uh, there's the apple. Oh, it just fell apart. <laughs> wow. So what do you do with the apple now? I'm throwing it out. You just throw it out? Well, I don't want it. What do you do? Uh, just, it just, you just use it for the juice or the flavors? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now this is going to go back in the oven. Okay, so I'm you're going to have to the oven on. take the camera back. Now you're, you got, you're, you you got to wash your hands. Hang on a minute, folks. We'll be right back. Okay, so we put it on bake at 350. Here. Um, make sure that you just make sure that you get the, everything in the picture and you're not like aiming at I just woke up so I'm right. not I'm not very coherent this is, you know, aim it, aim I it. can't see you and the aim. turkey too then okay to go go up. go get in then you need to back up all right now, okay, now. How long does that stay in there? That's gonna stay in there Can for. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see me up here? That's gonna stay in there for a while. That's not, not long, it, but I gotta do the a potatoes. A while is not specific. You need to about, tell them. Uh, well, see, it's almost brown already, so we do. We want it to get a little bit more brown. We just want, so it's cooked, but we just want to brown it. Cooked. We just want to brown it. Okay, so 30 minutes. Well, I don't know about that. Folks, this is supposed to be a cooking video to tell you how to do this, but we're she's not able to tell you how to do it. Hmm. Fifteen minutes? Half an hour anyway. Half an hour, okay. It looks like it wasn't always. Just all keep the way just check it after fifteen minutes and make sure it ain't getting too dark. But you want to brown it some. Now what are you doing in here? Get That's the giblets. You can have that. And then this is what I'm gonna make the turkey soup. Yeah, that's going to be good now. Okay. So, folks, that's how you do it. Uh, when it comes out, we don't need to show them anything else, do we? No. Nope. That's cooking. That's how you cook a turkey in the oven. In an hour and in ten a, minutes. In an hour and ten minutes. My ass. Well, that's all. It's cooked. That, it, it's been in there for seven hours and ten minutes. Okay? No, it hasn't. Eleven... Uh, it, I put it in at 10.15. We cooked it for 70 minutes first, and then we put it in there for another six hours. Hey. Right? I don't know if it was six hours. I don't think Say so. Say goodbye. Bye. All right, folks, it's brown enough. You see there? I'm going to take it. All right, folks, you see there? It's brown enough. I'm going to take it out, and we're going to put some croissants in there while the... Uh, oven still warm. Alright folks, there you go. There's your turkey and uh, I'll show you a plate of it when I get it uh, in my plate, but y'all can figure out how to carve a turkey or you can Google or YouTube that because that video is not about that. Be right back when I make my plate. Hi. Again, this recipe is especially great. You don't have to leave the oven on that long and you can keep the house cool if it's summer of course if it's if it's winter you don't care about the heat so much but you so know, this is a good recipe to, to do know, in the summertime because it doesn't heat up the house because right. the oven's not on all the time and you, and you save electricity too that's correct so yeah okay all right let's make a plate okay folks there we go mashed potatoes and gravy croissants stuffing with gravy some broccoli with some butter on it and some chicken breast. No. That's, I mean turkey. Oh, I'm sorry, turkey breast, yeah. There we go, folks, there's the finished product.